Hi there. We're going to do some story problems now that emphasize maximizing or minimizing elements of a quadratic equation. So here's a quadratic right here. S equals negative 16t squared plus 32t. Now notice it's a negative 16t squared, so this is an inverted parabola. And here's what the story problem says. If a baseball is projected upward from ground level, all right, and it gives us the equation, it says what is the maximum height reached and how long does it take to get there? No, it doesn't. It only cares about the maximum height. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to be looking for the maximum height. Now, in this context where T is acting like X, H is going to be whatever T is, and it's seconds. So H will be the number of seconds it takes for the ball to reach K, which is the maximum height, located, if you were graphing it, at the very top of the parabola. So we have to find H in order to find K. So notice we use the H formula to find H and find out it's 1. That's a check mark. Then we substitute 1, what H equals, into the original formula and we see that K equals 16 feet. So the highest point reached by the ball is 16 feet. Okay, let's go on to another problem. A rocket is fired upward with some initial distance above the ground, from an initial distance above the ground. Its height in feet h above the ground, t seconds after it's fired, is given by h equals negative 16 t squared plus 144 t plus 832. What is the rocket's maximum height? Again, we have to find k. That's the maximum height, but before you can find k, you have to find h. h is the amount of time it takes for the rocket to reach its maximum height. So, if you find h first, you find out it's 4.5 by using our favorite formula. h equals negative b divided by 2a. So here we're going to work it. S equals negative 16 T squared plus 144 T plus 832. And this is the parabola formed by the graph. And there is the vertex the highest point. We have to find h first, which is the time it takes the rocket to get to k, and k is the maximum height. So here we fill in our formula. And using a trusty calculator, we come up with 4.5 seconds. That's how long it takes the rocket to get to K. Now, to find out what K is, you take the 4.5 seconds and you put it back in every T in the original formula. And you use your trusty calculator and you get your answer. All right, so there's your time. And there's the maximum height. 
Aki's Bicycle Designs has determined that when X hundred bicycles are built, the average cost per bicycle is given by this formula, C of X equals 0.2X squared minus 0.9X plus 5.311. All right, well, H is the same thing that X is. H is the number of bicycles built, but in this case, it's the particular number of bicycles built that will, what, what do we try, that will minimize the cost of the bicycle. Why would Aki want to ma minimize his cost? Well, so he could maximize his profits. Every entrepreneur wants to minimize their cost so they can maximize their profit. So let's fill in our formula for H. We have to know H before we can find K. K is what actually gets maximized or minimized. In this case, it's going to be the minimum cost, but we have to find the number of bicycles. And that's going to be H. How many bicycles do we build in order to make the cost per bicycle to Aki um, uh, be its very smallest. Two hundred twenty-five. Remembering that that two point twenty-five is in hundreds. All we had to do there was find H. Finally, here's our last one. The profit of a company in dollars is the difference between the company's revenue and cost. Revenue is the amount of money you take in. Cost is the amount of money you have to spend. So the rest of the problem says that and X represents the number of items produced and sold by the distributors. So here are your two formulas. The total cost is this and the total revenue is this. And what we want to do is determine not just the profit, but the maximum profit. So the first thing we have to do is figure out the profit function. Profit is going to equal revenue minus cost. So here we've got revenue and we're subtracting cost. And we're going to calculate that. So we find out that the profit function, written properly in descending order, the way we do with polynomials, is negative x squared plus 800x minus 2500. Right. A is determine the maximum profit, whatever is being maximized or minimized, is K. But you have to find H first. H is going to be whatever X is, but the amount of it that it takes to get to the maximum or minimum. No room here. Let's go over to the next page. Here's our profit function again. Yes, I left a zero off, but I am going to come back and fix that. It bothers me. All right, so we have here that H is 400. So we take 400 and we put it in for all of the X's in the profit function. And then we calculate the answer.
There, I fixed it. Yay! <clears throat> this is my voiceover after I did this problem while I was sitting waiting for jury duty today. So this is the max, uh, the maximum profit, the most money he can possibly bring in given his cost and his revenue, $157,500.